first. You want to bring me some coffee? Coffee and messages. Oh. All these? The phones, the fax machines, nonstop. Oh. The wire services want statements. Worldview magazine wants a cover story. Inside Affairs is offered the moon for tape, interviews. The shot heard round the world. What did Mike Delaney say? History is a living record of who we are? Well, yesterday, we made television history. That'll be all, Iris. You know, Keepers, a fugitive from justice. Laurel Dillon was killed by an assassin. And the public saw it here first. Yeah, the stuff that dreams are made of. And, uh, I, I'm sure you slept well. Like a baby. Mm. Even though a horde of reporters were sitting vigil outside my door. Yeah, same at my place. The breakfast tables are buzzing. The cutting edge is the cream in America's coffee. And it's ridiculous. What happened on the show was a tragedy. Heartbreak on a national scale. Laurel's death will be mourned by millions, but why? Why did Janet Green pull the trigger? Why did she shoot a defenseless woman in cold blood? America wants to know. They want an exclusive, no-holds-barred interview with the accused. Janet will never go for it. Oh, she might. She might do it for her fans. And if you make the pitch. You want me to finesse an interview with Janet Green? Who better? Barbara Walters might be available. Oh, I think this requires your personal touch. I've done my research. Janet Green, a.k.a. Jane Cox, gal Friday, develops a major crush on Larsini. Oh, no, 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 that's old news. Forget it. Oh, I think you underestimate your staying power. Old flames may die down, but they never go out completely. Light a match under Janet. Oh, I see. You fiddle while I burn, right? No, thank you, Liza. I don't want anything to do with Janet. Well, hello. This is your job. What? To glorify a serial killer? No, to report facts. Liza, people don't want facts. They want the gory details. You and I both know that people don't know from their state center, but all of a sudden, Janet Green is a household name. So we cash in on that. She's probably writing her memoirs even as we speak. There'll probably be some kind of bidding war. I can just see it now. The vultures circling in formation. Since when have you risen above it all? Since a guest took a bullet on my show, live and in color. You are not to blame. I don't know about that. How's your conscience? Crystal. We set her up. We gave an open forum. At which time Janet declared open season, aimed a gun, and then fired. It was a freak occurrence. Come on, don't you think it was ironic? We set up a show that presses everybody's buttons, right? Hate, intolerance. That wasn't an audience. It was a, some kind of shooting gallery. Then along comes but, but Janet Green. Laurel's shoot it had fire. nothing to do with the show. It was a personal act of vengeance. Doesn't make any sense. Well, ask Janet. Make it make sense. No. Make Laurel's death mean something. I don't have the stomach All for right, it. All right, fine. You know, I'll, I'll talk to her myself. Okay, fine. You talk to her yourself, but I'll tell you something. She says yes, I'm not going to do the interview. Even if it makes you a cinch to an enemy? Shame. Okay. Okay. Talk to you soon. World View Magazine. Wow. Mike? Got a minute? Yeah, sure. You, uh... You want a seat? No. Can I get you anything? No. Thanks. How are you? Hang it in there. I want you to know that I am no that we are all so sorry about what happened to Laurel. If there's anything I can ever do for you, you, you say the yeah, word. Yeah, you turn call back time. Me. I'll say no. I won't do the cutting edge, and my sister will be alive. I wish I could. Yeah, well, so much for the magic of television, right? What about the tape? The footage? Come again? The footage, the killing. What are you going to do with the tape? Well, Michael, I met with WRCW's owner and the station manager last night to discuss this, and... Uh, 
It was a very grueling conversation. We weighed the pros and cons very carefully, but in the end, Adam, Liza, and I all unanimously thought that we should air the episode, carefully edited. We think it makes a very, very powerful public service statement, okay? With a very strong anti-violence stance. You want to use my sister's murder as a public service? Are you kidding me? The policy of WRCW. What are you going to title this thing, huh? Death in the afternoon? You can promo the hell out of this thing, can't you? We're just trying to make world death mean something. Mean something? It means ratings. It means revenue for your sponsors. Don't hand me that crap about public service and social reform and everything else. It means money. That's the bottom line. You're going to make money off my sister's death. How low will you go, Pat? What's next? What's for next week? Public executions on TV? How low will you go? Michael, we are not trying to take advantage of or make money off of Laurel's death. Yeah, right. It's art for art's sake. It's right? news, news with a very, very powerful message. Well, don't you remember when the Challenger exploded? There were cameras trained on that ship. Andrew crew, people watched, people who loved them. Yeah, and I'm sorry that we did. I hated it when I found out that something went horribly oh, wrong with that thing. Listen to me, okay? My point was we mourn for that crew as a nation. And we're going to mourn for Laurel in exactly the same way. Now, before the show goes on, I'm going to air a disclaimer, okay? A disclaimer? What are you going to say? Warning, don't try this at, at home, at Pad? The, come at on. the end of it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give an editorial. An editorial. What kind of editorial are you going to give? Mike, I give you my personal guarantee. Your personal guarantee? What kind of personal possible. guarantee are you going to give me, Tad? You really think that people are going to tune in to watch you pontificate? As soon as they get their fill of blood and guts and gore, they're going to change the channel. Don't give me that stuff about public service. Give me the videotape. Mike, listen. Airing that show won't bring her back, but if it saves one life, even one, don't Oh, you come on, Tad, don't give me that. Listen to yourself. You manufactured a room of hatred... You bring a woman in there who's a psychopath, lunatic, and you leave handguns lying around. I take personal responsibility for the gun. Really? Are you going to take responsibility when Trevor goes after Janet Green? You don't think he's going to shoot her head off when she looks at our family cross-eyed, Tad? Protective Come on. Protective custody. Protective custody. That's really great. You're talking about an ex-mercenary who's ready to come out of retirement. You're talking about a former cop who's got friends on the force. If he wants to find Janet Green, believe me, he's going to find Janet Green, Tad. Trevor, no... Well, I want to talk to Janet. What's wrong? Mike Delaney came by. And? He, uh, wanted to talk about the show, and it, uh, got pretty ugly. I was right, Liza. There's no black and white, just endless shades of gray. Well, I trust your instinct. What does your heart say? Can good come from bad? I don't think any good could come, come for this. I should just fold up my tent right now. Well, we've got to air that show. It's our only hope. 